giant mass extinction happened quicker than previously thought, the end Permian extinction happened in 60,000 years. This is a recent article by Massachusetts Institute of Technology on Science Daily. The largest mass extinction in the history of animal life occurred about 252 million years ago. It wiped out more than 96% of marine species and 70% of life on land. This is including the largest insects known to have inhabited Earth. There are multiple theories and they aim to explain the cause of what's known as the end Permian extinction, including an asteroid impact and massive volcanic eruptions or cataclysmic cascades of environmental events. Well, we know, for example, that the Mexico asteroid impact did cause the heating of the Earth's mantle from the impact, and that, of course, brought in seismic uh, geological events such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and tsunamis, and the tsunamis kept on coming and coming. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions continued. The ash clouds, the heat went up into the sky. The water even went up into the sky, high in the atmosphere. Froze came back down as snow and ice. And we had a tremendous amount of geological events and climate changes because of asteroid strikes. That's going to be another uh, category I'd like to go into because it's so interesting, especially, well, we know, uh, for example, there have been asteroid strikes all over the world, and uh, Australia is full of them, and also Canada, Hudson Bay, James Bay, uh, ha are so circular that uh, they have even found smaller asteroid strikes in the north area of Canada, but uh, they believe that the Hudson Bay and James Bay areas were huge asteroid strikes, if not comets. So there must have been a lot of terrible things going on. It was not a good place to be living, a good time to be living at that time, obviously, for any animal. But uh, it was the asteroid impact, massive volcanic eruptions, cataclysmic cascade of environmental events, Pinpointing the cause of the extinction requires better measurement of how long the extinction period lasted. The end Permian extinction happened in 60,000 years, and they say that it's much faster than earlier estimates, according to the newer research. The largest mass extinction in the history of animal life occurred 252 million years ago, wiping out 96% of marine species, 70% of life on land, including the largest insects to inhabit Earth. Multiple theories aim to explain the cause of what is known as the end Permian extinction, including an asteroid impact, massive volcanic eruptions, cataclysmic cascade of environmental events, but pinpointing the cause requires better measurements of how long the extinction period lasted. Now, researchers at MIT have determined that the end Permian extinction occurred over a period of 60,000 years, give or take 48,000 years, practically instantaneous from a geologic perspective. The new timescale is based on more precise dating techniques and indicates that most severe extinction in history may have happened more than 10 times faster than scientists had previously thought. Quote, we've got the extinction nailed in absolute time and duration, and quote, says Sam Boring, the Robert R. Schrock Professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at MIT. Quote, how do you kill 96% of everything that lived on the oceans in the oceans in tens of thousands of years? It could be that an exceptional extinction requires an exceptional explanation, and quote, in addition to establishing the extinction's duration, Boring graduate student Seth Burgess and a colleague from the Nanjing Institute of Geology and Paleontology also found that 10,000 years before the die-off, the oceans experienced a pulse of light carbon, which likely reflects a massive addition of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. 
This dramatic change may have led to widespread ocean acidification and increased sea temperatures by 10 degrees Celsius or more, killing the majority of sea life. But what originally triggered the spike in carbon dioxide? The leading theory among geologists and paleontologists has to do with widespread, long-lasting volcanic eruptions from the Siberian traps. It's a region of Russia whose step-like hills are a result of repeated eruptions of magma. To determine whether eruptions from the Siberia traps triggered a massive increase in oceanic carbon dioxide, Burgess and Boring are using similar dating techniques to establish a time scale for the Permian period's volcanic eruptions that are estimated to have covered over 5 million cubic kilometers. Quote, it is clear that whatever triggered extinction must have acted very quickly, end quote, Burgess says. He's the lead author of the paper that reports the results in proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Quote, fast enough to destabilize the biosphere before the majority of plant and animal life had time to adapt in an effort to survive this, end quote. Now, how did they pin the dates on the extinction? In 2006, Boring and his students made a trip to Meishan, China. It's a region whose rocks formation bear evidence of the end Permian extinction. Geochronologists and paleontologists have flocked into the area to look for clues in its layers of sedimentary rock. In particular, scientists focus on a section of rock that is thought to delineate the end of the Permian and the beginning of the Triassic based on evidence such as a number of fossils found in surrounding rock layers. Bowing sampled rocks from this area, as well as from nearby alternating layers of volcanic ash beds and fossil bearing rocks. After analyzing the rocks in the lab, his team reported in 2011 that the end Permian likely lasted less than 200,000 years. However, this time frame still was not precise enough to draw any conclusions about what caused the extinction. Now the team revised this estimate using more accurate dating techniques based on a better understanding of uncertainties in time scale measurements. With this knowledge, Boeing and his colleagues reanalyzed rock samples collected from five volcanic ash beds at the Permian-Triassic boundary. The researchers pulverized rocks and separated out the tiny zircon crystals containing a mix of uranium and lead. They then isolated uranium from lead and measured the ratios of both isotopes to determine the age of each rock sample. From their measurements, the researchers determined a much more precise age model for the end Permian extinction, which now appears to have lasted about 60,000 years, with an uncertainty of 48,000 years and was immediately preceded by a sharp increase in carbon dioxide in the oceans. So they're spiraling towards the truth. The new timeline adds weight to the theory that the extinction was triggered by massive volcanic eruptions from the Siberian traps that released violent, volatile chemicals, including carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere and oceans. With such a short extinction timeline, Boring says it's possible that a single catastrophic pulse of magmatic activity triggered an almost instantaneous collapse of all global ecosystems. To confirm whether the Siberian traps are indeed the extinction smoking gun, Burgess and Boring plan to determine an equally precise timeline for the Siberian traps eruptions and will compare it to the new extinction timeline to see where the two events overlap. The researchers will investigate additional areas in China to see if the duration of the extinction can be even more precisely determined. Quote, we refined our approach and now we have higher accuracy and precision, Boring, Boring says. You can think of it as slowly spiraling towards the truth. This is from a Massachusetts Institute of Technology written by Jennifer Chu and it's on Science Daily.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.